What is up guys, my name is Premium Aphid and today we're going to be reviewing Red Dragon's M901 gaming mouse, but before we get to that, let's look at last week's first comment by Anonymous Jerry, and he said, I feel like you have way more potential, do you advertise? And to answer your question, no, I do not advertise. If you guys have any good ideas on that or any advice with using Google AdSense, I'd love to hear it in the comment section below. But anyways, let's get into this review. <laughs> Today I'll be reviewing the Red Dragon M901 gaming mouse. There are two versions of this mouse, this black version and then the all white version. Overall this mouse looks great and also feels really comfortable. Some people would say that the buttons on the side could become annoying or make this mouse less comfortable, but I would disagree with that. Red Dragon engineered these buttons so that they're slanted where your thumb will rest and the buttons are all smooth and not sharp, so I would say it is still very comfortable. I used a Corsair M65 at my college for my IT class and coming back home to this mouse is not a disappointment at all. They have similar weights and the Red Dragon mouse is just as comfortable. After over 3 years of using this product, I have no real complaints about it. This mouse has a threaded wire and it feels really sturdy and matches my black and red gaming setup. This mouse also has some weights inside that can be taken out to find the most comfortable weight for your liking. There are lights on the wheel of the mouse, the back, and even the buttons on the side, and they all have different lighting modes. In total, this mouse has 18 buttons. There are 12 programmable buttons on the side, but I personally don't use these often. The only time I remember using these were for Minecraft and 7 Days to Die for selecting whatever tool you'll be using. These buttons can be useful in games like Fortnite as well, you can set up certain buttons to build walls or floors. There is also a precision button on the side. Again, I do not use this button too often, just occasionally in shooters when I'm sniping. Next we have these two buttons on the top that adjust the DPI of the mouse. And speaking of DPI, this mouse goes up to 24,000 DPI, which is two times as high as Corsair's M65. But in reality, this won't make too big of an impact for the average person. This mouse is RGB but is hard to set up. You have to install a separate application to control these features, which can be annoying when you already have special software for your Red Dragon keyboard like mine. Which by the way, if you guys are interested in the cheapest RGB mechanical keyboard, you should check out my review of the Red Dragon K56-7. So overall, this mouse is really nice. After hours of use, it is still comfortable, and for only $30, this mouse is a great deal. Red Dragon also has a similar mouse without all the extra buttons on the side, so if this one isn't the right fit for you, I would explore some of the other Red Dragon mouses. So hopefully you guys found that review helpful. If you did, make sure you drop a big like down below and a comment if you have any questions. And don't forget that the link to this mouse is in the description below. And if you guys are interested in tech content, I post on Saturdays every week. And you guys can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see some more tech content. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Reality, it is touching the truth.